North Carolina is trying to preserve history through the use of historical markers. But there's a problem. The state isn't paying for the program right now. Fox 46's Brett Baldick is live in Uptown near one of those historical markers, breaking down the maintenance costs for this program. Good morning, Brett. Good morning, Jason. So the fort first historical marker in North Carolina was installed back in 1936. And you would think that these historical markers would last a lifetime because they're made out of metal. But that's not the case happening here in North Carolina. And the state is spending thousands of dollars every year on repairs and replacements. They're a history lesson on the side of the road. Historical markers sharing a moment in time at places throughout Mecklenburg County in an attempt to preserve local history. The markers are all the same with a white background and a black text. Every letter is measured at three inches. If you're at a stoplight, you, you should be able to read a marker and at least get the gist of what you're, you're near. The markers are handmade out of cast aluminum by a foundry in Ohio. They're built to last, but are often damaged. The worst part of the maintenance issue is, is drivers. The signs are hit by drivers more often than you think. They are designed with a breakaway point, allowing the metal to fall to the ground. If they didn't, in a car accident, they could become projectiles. A repair typically costs between $850 and $1,200. Sometimes a new sign is the only solution. If we don't find out about it in time, somebody who thinks it's a really neat topic might come by and steal it. Somebody who wants to sell it for scrap metal may come by and take it. A new marker costs $1,860. The program is funded through NCDOT, which allows up to $60,000 per year. But for the past two years, it has been cut from NCDOT's budget. The program is now relying on donations to pay for the upkeep of the signs. We're not putting it such that a person can just su support a single marker. But it, within the three pan, you know, the three markers, they can they can write us a check or pay through PayPal. I reached out to a spokesperson from NCDOT, and she says there are several proposed budgets right now. Some that include funding for historical signs, and some that do not. And it's all up to lawmakers about which budget they want to pass. And of course, we'll be tracking that in Raleigh and let you know what they do figure out. But also there are 36 historical markers here in Mecklenburg County, and there is a new one being planned that will be installed soon. Jason, back to you. Oh, that's cool. I just I went to Google and just typed in historical marker near me. Like, how do you actually find out where the closest historical <laughs> markers are to where you are? So you're really close. They do have a website where they actually uh, map it all out for you, and there's actually 1,600 more than 1600 that you can find across the state. You can sort by county, by region, uh, by even historical things that you're looking for. So we'll have a link to that website over on our website at fox46.com 